What's going on, Tribe Nation Apache? I hope you guys are having a fantastic Sunday out there. But I wanted to talk to you guys about the new boots on the ground game mode coming to Infinite Warfare this December. Now, most of us already know that there's an update dropping for Infinite Warfare. It's going to be huge. It's going to have a lot of patches, fixes, and they're going to be adding a lot of things to this game. And one of the things that stuck out to me that is confirmed is that they are adding a boots on the ground game mode. Now we've seen them add a boots on the ground game mode in Advanced Warfare two to three years ago. However, not many people really gave it a chance or played it all that much. I mean, every now and then, you know, somebody might say, hey, I wonder what this game would be like if I just played it on the ground with my feet solemnly planted on the cement. And so it was kind of just like this gag, this test, every now and then you go play it. But what they're trying to do is they're trying to take a stab and try and pacify all the all of these people who are extremely pissed off. They're tired of jetpacking through the air, flying everywhere, and uh, playing Infinite Warfare in the clouds. So this is their way of saying, you know what, let's try this game out on the ground. Let's see how people like this, how much they enjoy it. And some of us have the luxury of playing Modern Warfare Remastered, which is a great Call of Duty. It's boots on the ground. But some people either didn't have the $80 to play Modern Warfare Remastered, or they didn't want to pay $80 just for one single game. So they're waiting for that to be a standalone game before they actually pay for it and play it. So they're having to settle for Infinite Warfare, and they're tired, and they're not pleased. But trust me, Infinity Ward's no small company. They're huge, and they know that they're losing their fan base by the numbers specifically specifically for this Call of Duty alone. It didn't have a seventh of the pre-order sales that Black Ops 3 had, and it's also losing 50% of its audience retention, and it's only been a few weeks since the games dropped. So they're running around everywhere over there at Infinity Ward. They're trying to figure out how are we going to bring our fan base back in? What's going on? What can we do? Can we make this better? How can we get these people to come back and play Infinite Warfare again? But anyways, to wrap this video up, I will say that I'm extremely curious, at least, to see how this is going to play out. I don't think it's going to be this uh, savior, this Trojan horse that's going to come in and really turn Infinite Warfare around. But um, history can tell us that. But like I said, uh, I am curious to see how it's going to play out. And I'll give it a try. You can bet your ass I'm going to give it a try. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please drop a like. And I'm also trying to hit my first 100 subscribers. Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below as well. Anyways, I'll see you guys later.